Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, uh, I'm going to be teaching you all a um, a cool card trick which requires no setup unless you want to. Um, you set up the trick as you go, uh, so uh, let me go ahead and demonstrate. I'm using the B deck. Um, why? Because this is a poker themed trick. So um, basically, if you don't know what a poker hand is, um, I'm sure everyone's heard of like... Um, you know, the full house, four of a kind, um, and all these different things, right? Um, everyone's heard of those those terms before. Um, just because poker is such a popular game, uh, and everyone knows poker. So, you know, if you haven't played poker, that's okay. Um, but I'll just explain a few of them to you. Um, today, I'm going to be giving you the example of four of a kind. Uh, four of a kind is a powerful hand. It is the second most powerful um, to the uh, royal flush. And then, then in some cases, if you play poker differently, um, it would be the um, five of a kind, which is all four aces plus the one joker. So uh, let me see here. Okay, here's the last king. So here are the kings. I'll show you. There are two ways to cheat in poker, though. Um, you know, most gamblers know at least a couple poker cheats. Let me uh, give an example here. So let's say uh, we were playing a five-hand round, and the four cards he wanted in his hand uh, would go on the bottom, plus one extra card um, that's just random. That wouldn't matter, because he wants to make four of a kind of kings. So he'd go start at the top. One, two, three, four. Here are the four hands. Now here's his hand, right? Okay. Um, now, except for his hand, he doesn't deal the top card, he deals the bottom card, so he just gave himself a king. Then he just goes back and forth, just like so, dealing off top cards, then he goes to the bottom, bang, just like so, boom. Okay, so this is the way that gamblers cheat. Um, now, do I personally use this method? Um, I should think not. I am not a gambler, uh, I am a magician. Um, so as you can see here, I have dealt myself the one, two, three, four kings and a random card on the bottom. So here's the deal. Watch. Um, you know, that's the gambler's way. But let's see when I do it, if you can catch me. I am going to just deal out five hands and let's see if you can catch me. Okay, just dealing out the five hands. Hopefully you don't see anything so far. Okay, just simple dealing of five hand round, but you'll actually see I have dealt myself the four kings. Wait, ready? One. Wait, hold on, that's an ace. Well, actually I think aces will work. I have dealt myself a very powerful round, four aces with a high card king. That is probably the second highest... Um, the second highest poker hand there is. So guys, that is the trick. Um, it's pretty beginner actually. Um, you just need to know how to control a deck of cards as you talk to someone. Obviously, I did not have the um, uh, the benefit of being with you in person um, to be able to distract you, I guess, um, or you know, draw less attention to my hands since my hands are the only thing in the screen with the cards in the mat. Um, but anyhow, this trick. It's pretty cool. It can be found in the Royal Road to Card Magic. Um, that book, I will give you the page number here. Hold on. Uh, let me see. Uh, well, I will just put it on the screen if you'd like, but it is in the book, uh, The Royal Road to Card Magic, uh, which is probably my favorite magic book. It is a beginner magic book. Um, they teach mostly beginner stuff, but they have a lot of cool tricks in there that I like to show off on here. So, um, this trick is very easy, though, so I will say that. I'm actually not going to cut the video anymore. Um, we're going to start uh, stopping the cutting the video in between um, the tutorial and the performance, um, just for, you know, video sakes, uh, keeping things organized. So, let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to casually talk to them about poker hands. Most people... Um, you know, they've heard of poker hand, blah, 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 blah. You heard the whole spiel. It's just talking about poker hands and that most people have heard of them. But, you know, the one I'm going to use today is four of a kind. Bang. You've already got it all set up. You're good. Okay? You're just talking to them casually about poker. 
Um, and most of the time, what you would do, you do this trick after prefacing, um, you know, like, someone would ask you, so, I would never want to play poker with you. I've had someone say that to me, and then uh, I'll show them this trick. And they're like, whoa, you can deal yourself a stacked poker hand. Wow. And, you know, they just get super amazed. So this trick actually does get pretty good reactions. Um, so I do use it quite a bit, though. Um, so here's the setup that you're going to need. Just the four aces on top. Okay, and you can do this easily just while talking to them, um, and that will be fine. And then the four kings, um, just anywhere randomly in the pack. So I'm going to insert them um, just in random positions um, to show you where we go from the start of the trick. So, boom, all four kings, random positions. Great. So all the kings go in. Now you just casually pull out the kings like, okay, so I'm going to talk about poker cheating, blah, blah, blah. This is how poker gamblers cheat, uh, and um, let me demonstrate. So you'd say, okay, the four cards they would like to give themselves, plus one random card, uh, go on the bottom. And then you, you know, you deal out the four hands. You'd say, let's play a five-hand round. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, now you just dealt the top four cards, the four aces, right? So the aces are on the bottom here. Next, you say, you openly deal out the bottom card, show it's a king. Boom, 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 and just continue doing this for five cards on each hand. So instead of putting the top card, you'd put the bottom card, which is another king. So you're obviously dealing yourself the four kings, right? Put down the bottom card, obviously dealing yourself the four kings yet again. Another king, last king. Um, boom, 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 boom. Now you're just dealing yourself a random three, and you point that out to them. The last card doesn't matter because you give yourself a really stacked hand. Okay, so now that you've got five cards on each pile, two, four, five, two, four, five, two, four, five, two, four, five, two, four, five. Okay, um, what you can do is you're going to deal, you're just going to pick up the all the stack. Well, you show the kings, right? Blah, 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 I got the four kings. And you just pick up the hands in a messy order. You don't want to make it, um, you know, too complicated. Just make it casual. Pick up all the hands, boom, and plop them out top. At least, if you don't mess up the order, there's an ace in every uh, two, four. Um, I believe in every fifth, or I'm sorry, um, yeah, every fifth position, um, not including the first ace. Um, so between aces, there should always be four cards. Um, so if you haven't messed up that order, you're good to go. Put them on top, and then put your la put your uh, hand on top. Okay, so now you can just deal out the five hands just like normal. Boom. Um, the four hands, bang, and you set up the trick. Um, so, you're good to go from here as long as you just deal yourself a five uh, hand game, you'll be good. So, after you've given yourself the hand though, you want to flip it over to the bottom and show there's a king. You'll say, okay, this time I've actually dealt myself the four kings. You're going to flip it back over, show the top card's actually an ace. Then you say, well, okay, I guess four aces will work. And then you deal yourself out the four aces as dramatically as possible and explain how that is the second largest poker hand in the game and that you have now won by a tremendous feat of magic. Um, guys, that is a trick though. Hopefully you did enjoy. It's a little bit of a humorous trick just because, you know, it's kind of funny. As you give an example, you're setting up the tricks, uh, which is kind of funny. So, uh, guys, hope you did enjoy. Don't forget to leave a like, comment below, and subscribe, and with that, I'll see you all in the next video.